So, tip. great Alberta beef, ground. This That's one is, is fine. My preference would typically be something a little more coarse, but for those real chili aficionados, they would certainly go for something that was hand-diced, about garden pea size. Okay. But this, it still makes a great product. I have to say something about this Alberta beef. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I had a flat iron steak salad, and I almost passed out. It was so it, good. And my husband said to me, when you go to Alberta, Tracy, make sure you try the beef. I'm sorry if you're a vegetarian. The beef <laughs> is incredible here. It certainly it's is. It's amazing. And look, when, when you've been uh, producing some of the best beef in North America for so long, you're going to get really, really good at it. And Absolutely. that's exactly what they do here that's in right. Calgary. We're very proud of the great Calgary beef. That's for sure, Alberta beef. Yeah. So we sodied this off. We now want to get that a little brown, which is coming on nicely. And you I'll can see those little brown chef. pieces. Perfect. The little brown pieces at the bottom. That's all the good burned. flavor. That's, That's not flavor. burned. Exactly. I usually have way more of those brown pieces at the bottom <laughs> when I cook. A little diced sweet onion. Sometimes they're black. Oh, that's not so good. No. And then we're going to add some freshly diced jalapeno pepper. This oh, is hot. peppers, hot peppers for beginners. But once you cook it, it really mellows out quite nicely. So don't be shy to pick some at the store and certainly use them. All right. And dice them up, put them in. They really add that wonderful depth and flavor. If you're into hot, you can go as hot as you want with your chili. You certainly can. Absolutely wow. right. Okay. Once that's been sizzling a little bit longer, yeah. we then add our spice mix. And the spice mix to me is what really gives the flavor to chili. And I've come up with a really unique spice mix. This one here is smoked paprika. Yum. So this is sweet capsicum peppers that have been smoked, have that wonderful smoky barbecue aroma to it. In I use it that goes. all the time actually with my fish. Perfect. This one here is ground chili, again, that is smoked, lots of deep, rich flavors to it, good earthiness. Nice. And this is the one that will deliver some extra heat. Okay. And then a little pinch of cumin. Mm. And the thing with spices, buy them fresh because that's when they're most fragrant. Really delicious. Okay, that smells amazing already. Thank is it you. done yet? Not quite. We add our salt and pepper, okay. the mandatory. Then we add our moist contents, which in this case is a little barbecue sauce. All right. Just for that sweetness, yes, I like the we sweet. add a can of tomatoes that I've diced, strained, and pureed. Okay. In they go. Do you do the dark chocolate thing or cocoa in your I, chili? I don't. Okay. I don't. This one I keep fairly straightforward. And then I add a little bit of salsa as well. Oh, nice. It can be your favorite store-bought salsa because to me, chili is about keeping it simple. You don't want to be sweat-hugging it over the stove all day long. The do's and don'ts of chili. You can make this your own by adding your own seasonings. Add sun-dried tomatoes. Add fresh herbs to it. Once it's finished cooking through, I then add these beautiful kidney beans. You can use pinto beans, lima beans. You can use uh, chickpeas. Okay. You name it. And of course, instead of beef, you can certainly go with turkey or chicken. Yeah. Or if you have to, vegetarian. <laughs> You know, but that's for socks and sandals, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. oh, the poor vegetarians We're, we're going to get the emails coming in now. Oh, yeah. This Send is them a, to Michael. That's right. This is a pot that uh, I've done ahead of time. Okay. Which is nicely finished off. Just coming up to a simmer. Let me give that a touch more heat. If you'll give that a gentle stir there, Tracy. Yeah. Whilst I add the rest of the beans. So you're adding them right at the end. Right at the very end, just before you serve. Okay. And the key with chili, in my mind, is make it at least one day before because the flavors come together it's like soups it's like braises it's like stews the magic happens in the pot overnight it does you can put all the flavor you want in here but if it doesn't really come together it will once it's sat overnight okay you can just ha pass me a fork now i'm ready <laughs> this looks so good final presentation okay we'd serve a baked potato which freshly baked yukon go potatoes you can use sweet potatoes if you wish I yeah, love you to know, take the potato has been highly maligned. It's a very good it's a vegetable. Gr exactly, and it's, it's a great for foundation for a dish like this. A ton of fiber so in there. So a little bit of shredded iceberg lettuce. Okay. We would put in our steaming hot baked potato. Yum. We then add... We're going to put chili in the potato? A chili goes into the potato. All right. That's I the way it's going you, down. Yes. Very nice. And you don't be shy with it. Has anyone ever tried chili in a potato? I no. think you need oh. to. You have. And we're not going to stop there. I need there. to. We're going to add the mandatory dollop of sour cream. Yeah. We're going to add some grated aged cheddar cheese so it's got a nice bite to it. Nice. Again, a store-bought salsa. 
add olive oil, freshly diced coriander, and some fresh tomatoes, and you can call it your own. Nobody will know the difference. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, if you want, I mean, I've if you want to get the organic salsa or whatever floats your boat, we Go just need town. you to make about 179 more of those, <laughs> right? Is we that about some, how many we got right. out there? We want to give a big thank you uh, to Joey's in the Chinook Center, because I know that they were a, a huge help, and Sobeys as well that provided. For taking care of my shopping list. Yes. That's how we present a it. A ton of your stuff. A great dish for Stampede. Good stuff. Enjoy Let's it. put the recipe on our website, cityline.ca. It looks amazing.